accomplished. <laughs> oh, good, the game's back. Fuck, I was about to ask how much longer, and then I realized we're not playing Fortress <coughs> Heroes anymore, so the answer is a long time. <laughs> yeah. 55 minutes. So I, I'm sharing a couch with Panzer and the dog, and the dog has just decided to sit, like, directly on Panza, so she can't move. Her ass is okay, right next to my dog. face! Get this <laughs> off! So we got this and two more, right? This and two more. Correct. The nightmare never ends. <laughs> it's so close and yet so far away. Is there a level unlocked for this game? Uh, oh no, Fuzzles, where are you? Fuzzles give up. Fuzzles. Okay. Fuzzles. Fuzzles, uh, yeah. oh. Fuzzles came down with a terminal case of Sarge. <laughs> Fuzzles <laughs> died. He came down with a terminal case of Sarge. Oh. He died and oh, went man. back to his home planet. Everyone has Sarge. Is Oatmeal still going? Sarge, Sarge, Sarge. Oatmeal, you're a fucking hero. Yeah, I'm still here. Hi. I'm gonna buy you a He's drink. He's still here. Hi. And a pizza. Oh, yeah, pizza. Oatmeal, come to Seattle and get the pizza. dog's butt off of my face. Oh man, get <coughs> away though! You do have to provide your own transportation, hotel, and airfare. <laughs> nah man, I'm just gonna crash in Panzer's house. She's good for it. I'm covering her butt with a tiny blanket so she can't fart on my face. <laughs> <laughs> this seems like a, an excellent solution. I'm a problem solver. God, it's depressing as hell to think we're back into the tutorial again. <laughs> yeah, well, we gotta deal with the 12 frames per second tutorial again. <laughs> and I think some of those blades of grass have as many as three polygons in them, that's exciting. Yeah, gee up. We got fifteen hundred and fifty-five dollars. Hey, yeah, we had a donation come in overnight. A uh, hundred dollar donation where the comment was just Sarge, 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 Sarge. <laughs> Someone broke and gave us a hundred dollars. Oh no, Grand Cheater did it though. Oh oh. Army Men 3, The Shadow of the Sarge.
Vegeta well. is my hero! Oh. <laughs> I salute you bees for going out of your way to collect the bullshit. Sorry, I was, I was got cross talk going on. So who's in the mumble at the moment? Uh, it is just me and Tea Tree. Uh, if someone could electro grapple G up in, he'd like to join. Uh, Puzzle and Tea Tree, and they're gonna electro grapple G. Well, one oh, of the, yeah. like, we can't. Oh, hi, Puzzles, are you back? I, uh, I actually said something a moment ago, too. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, Puzzles. I had to, uh, stand up and, like, get something to eat and actually do something. Yeah, get grapple, grapple G up in here. Quote, unquote, had to. Okay. Yeah, hey, G up. Right. Morning, G up. So I'm, glad you, I, I'm glad you didn't say good morning, because we all would have yeah, to take offense to that. Yeah, I was about to, to say, so how are y'all doing, but I, I think I already know the answer. I'm, morning, I'm yes, sorry. it certainly is, Geop. It we certainly are so, is morning. We are so very Sarge right now. Yeah, I think, so um, so... I think Oatmeal's delirious laugh basically covers how we're feeling. Yeah, yeah, I think Oatmeal's broken. Too much, it broke too a much, long time too much overnight poke in mixed with army men and and what the hell? I going actually on? stopped playing pokes. When? I don't remember when I did, but I did. <laughs> I don't know if I can trust you. Maybe it's probably around maybe, five. Maybe the three DS is still in your hand. You just don't notice it. No, no, I'm looking at it. It's plugged in and sitting on top of my HD PBR closed. Uh -huh. Okay, oh, game, man. don't crash. Those are slow bullets. Swear to Sarge. Please don't crash game. I can't handle adding more time to the other games. Wow. Only Sarge would stare straight down the barrel of a gun. It's not even Sarge, it's some douchebag named Anderson. What? Yeah, I know, right? But, I, but Sar wasn't Sarge always the dude? He, you know, he was, and then, I don't know, Studio... Superstar Team 17 decided, no, Sarge is not good enough for us. We have to have this guy whose shadow is a barcode for some fucking reason. God damn it, Anderson. Doesn't even have a right shadow. Look at that. You had one job, Anderson. <laughs> you had one Look job! Him. He's got to a shadow. Sarge it up. He's got a shadow of one of those little cell phone scanny type things. This game's ahead of its time. <laughs> His shadow is QR code. Yep. <laughs> this is all an elaborate arg by bees. You get it hints is. on roundabout from <laughs> going through the stream. No, the actually if you scan the barcode, it just says Sarge. Yeah. If you scan the barcode, it just starts playing that theme again. Yeah, yeah, if you scan the barcode, it goes to the YouTube video of just that theme. I, I, I've actually been trying to learn how to do, like, uh, synthetic music using, like, Contact in FL Studio, and the first thing I'm going to do once I get the hang of this is probably make a, a fancy version of that song. I was looking for something to try out. So that's a project now. Cancer is awake. I'm not allowed to mention the, the M game. The M game? The M game that makes Panzer real mad when I reference it. The, the the mad game, the 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 one with the guy who has a funny voice that I like to imitate sometimes. The man game. No wait, that was guy game, and they took you know, that Jalo. off the shelf. They took that off the shelf because one of the girls and it was seventeen. That's Yikes. not that's not an M game though. Iron Gear. <laughs> man like game. <laughs> Gross. That's a sexy game. <laughs> I, I would not play that. I'm sorry. Tungsten gear. Virtue's uh, last Sarge. My mono bear can't possibly be this cute. Yeah, uh, you're right.
Yeah, the Scottish video game. Wait, did the game break again? No, we're no, next this level. is a new level. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm not here sometimes. Well, didn't you see the teeny tiny sword run from left to right? Oh, it's only you who level, broke. Too. He was making progress. <laughs> I'm sure that some of these visual glitches might be from the emulation, but I'm probably yes. sure that I'm, I'm, no. I'm starting to think they're not. I think the game shipped like this. Really, all this uh, Sarge stuff is just making me think Johnny Five Aces. Imagine four Sarges at the end of a cliff. Sarge works the same way. <laughs> Voice sounds like Garbad doing impressions of people. What? Derp de derp de doo. I'm not Garbad. Oh yeah, six snowboarding. <laughs> what? Oh I'm man. I'm Sarge. Derpy derpy doo. So uh, the enemies can't really deal with mild strafing, can they? Oh man, that 300 came out of nowhere! His shadow is trying to tell us something. But we wouldn't listen. He tried to warn us. Super turf. Wow, it's a good thing you got off that board before it decided to disappear. <laughs> oh no, bees, look out! <laughs> oh no! Uh, uh, the floor is invisible. It's a different version of the floor is lava. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, you know, like the classic children's game, the floor is lava. You know, I don't think it's a barcode, I think it's like a studio logo or something. Because uh, even that top line appears to be words, not just straight lines. <laughs> I love that guy. He's trying to jump up there, but he can't quite make it. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm a coming. Oh, that sick kickflip. Oh, yeah. Out Spartan, that brilliant AI. This game is so sick nasty. Be careful, bees. I can't tell where platforms are and where they aren't. Does anyone really even care at this point? Well, well, that happened a lot in Simon's Quest. People beat it somehow. I think I think Bees can. Bees has a chance. I, got it. I beat Simon Quest once. That was never enough. again. I've seen a lot of things, uh, man. I beat Simon's Quest. I wouldn't recommend it. I might. Oh, like uh, yeah, sick nasty, owned. bro. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a matter of You can't even bust a sick Ollie or something. He even like that? They even incorporated the, uh, <laughs> green, you know, the, the, the platform under Army Man. Oh, was that Casty? No, that was Good. Panzer. That was okay. Panzer squeaking. <laughs> Just what we always wanted. It's like getting to this The Army Man game with some grinding. Tony Hawk's Pro Sarge. Radical. Guys, what if it snowed in San Francisco? Whoa. I smell trailer. Hey, Oatmeal, can you sign these? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I smell dead people all the time. The fanfic writes itself. Uh, you're not wrong. Oh, okay. Hey, Swag. Oh, it's psychedelic eyeball.
Yeah, so like, you should take a look at the guy's shadow. <laughs> yeah. I really would like to figure out what it says. It's probably like um, the file name for the shadow texture. Yeah, it's just like yeah, some texture yeah, or something like guess. not found or something. Right. I don't know. I mean, on some of like the, the text placement and stuff kind of look like it could be like a company logo or something, but it's like uh, right. it's like this game's version of those giant pink exclamation points in Oblivion. Right. So, um they forgot to ship this game with the shadow texture. Actually, um hmm. Maybe just complete understanding on the, the the person who's in charge of modeling and stuff. Maybe just completely understood some instruction. Like they were saying, let's make it really realistic. Let's have like underneath him. Let's have his um uh, like manufacturing logo or made China or something because he's a toy. <laughs> and they literally put it under him. They just sighed and said, "Good enough." You ever just, seen the bottom? We just wanted like... it stamped into his feet because you know we're going to be having high res textures like uh, like on our super turf box we're so proud of. Yeah, that super turf box is like what 128 by 128. Yeah, man, look at that. There's you ever seen the, the bottom of an Iron Man's spot. foot with connect? There's, <laughs> there's even the top half where there's a little tear spot. You can I tell. feel like Army Man is a game that would be better with connect. Oh, what was the uh, oh, Steel Battalion? You just do a Steel Battalion Army Men connect oh crossover. <laughs> Killer flip, dude. Wicked sick. Sick, nasty. God, I get so terrified when you're walking on these platforms because they keep disappearing. And become Sars, destroyer of worlds. That's so Sarge. I like how the game in the top is kind of like, no, you can't touch the camera. Don't even try. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. Don't touch. You it. touch don't that even, camera. Don't even think about it. Don't even look at it. Can you, don't even look at the camera because the Say camera's camera not gonna again. look at you. Say camera again, motherfucker. I dare, I dare you. I double dollar. <laughs> I can't do it. It's just no, too you, much. You went kind of a wrong place with that. Oh, it's a blue metal. So the underlying message here is that, is that Sarge and Anderson and all of his men are only going to war for their accolades. They only want bragging rights. Um, uh, where's, the, where's the honor in that? You gotta be the best soldier in the toy box. Well, you see, but, what they're collecting are their medals of honor. I know, but it's just to be, <laughs> what it should be is that every one of those medals should be a purple heart instead. I think I think at the end of the game should give you a purple heart. I think bees gets like twenty five purple hearts for playing all these games. I can no longer. Oh, talk. so the level just ends there, huh? Just Anderson across. never removed from box. It looked like that. That looked like a dude wearing a snow jacket on the level picture. And so, like, oh man, we want to be somewhere where it's snowy? Nope. Oh yeah, it's parachute time. Oh man, well, parachute time is really scary because the floor is invisible. You don't know when you're gonna land. <laughs> <laughs> That's what really gets to you: the waiting. And suddenly, your shins are up through your knees and into your chest cavity. Well, this is just bad. Look at that little runny man. Oh man, guys who are just joining Whoop. us missed the most metal fucking damage animation in the last game we played. Oh yeah, that was. I, I was honestly surprised that that was intentional, much less implemented. Uh, 
Sarge got shot by like a mortar or something, and then I, there was a giant gaping hole in his chest. Wow. Yeah, and it was actually like flared out on either side. <laughs> yeah, you could see right through it. And then as he transitioned to the next area, it just kind of like slooped back together like a Terminator. Yeah, or it's, it slooped back yeah. together like uh, like the jelly in a modern game. I had a mental image of T1000. I'm glad that closed up and stuff. It's just like it. <laughs> Careful, bees. Gotta gotta go through those rings. <laughs> Superman uh, 64. Oh uh, yeah, the Army Man 64. <laughs> Army Man 64. <laughs> Which, to be fair, is what most of these games have been. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but there's no poison stink mist. Yeah, where's a green fog? Look, I'll turn oh, this coming out of your feet. I'll turn this whole stream around and start up Army Man World War Team Assault again. No, no, I can't handle any more World War games. I can't do it! They were so bad! And, uh, what's the donation incentive for that? <laughs> well, you know, they should've, um... You know what they could've done? They could've released a game where you just played around in this little sandy area and called it a sandbox game, and the whole game quite literally took place inside of a sandbox, and it was just some sort of, like, a really dick-move sales procedure or something. Like, well, we told you it was a sandbox game! It would so, still have been better than every other army men game, except No, for... I mean, just recycling the same levels where you're just in a bunch of sand with brown right. walls. Right. Uh, so what I'm getting from watching bees do that segment is, uh, this- this segment controls smooth as silk, yeah? Yeah, no, it's super easy. Not at all crazy frustrating. Smooth as sandpaper. Yeah, it, it looked like your, uh, your air control rival did the Meat Boy for a while there. Yeah, no, I think this is probably the new, uh, pro esports, uh, air control game. So many esports. Yeah, I saw the, um, you had to fight the, uh, the wind. What was it around, like, 20 miles, 30 miles an hour or something like that? Yeah, it's like, it's 20 gustings to 25. Oh boy. Yeah. So Sarge. Much plastic. Very wow. esports. So Sarge. You know, whenever I see that meme or implementations thereof, it just makes me think of the dog ending from Silent Hill 2. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> I just had that explained, the meme explained to me a couple days ago. There's an explanation? I thought it was just a dog in broken English, and that's adorable yeah, and funny. Yeah, pretty, pretty much it was from this very, very broken English ad over in Japan. It had like wow, a little, it had one of those dogs on it. One of those dogs. You know how they are. One of those dogs. I forget what hey. they're called, like Shiba's? Shiba Inu. Yeah. Yeah, Shiba oh, I Inu. love Shiba's. They so cute. I love Mama Shivas. Uh, I just like dogs. What? You're not familiar with Mama Shiva? Well, don't worry, Tolvo. We already got a Yaoi drawing today. Yesterday. <laughs> I, thought yeah, they were both, I thought they were both girls when they made a Yuri then. No, no, that was nope. Yaoi. Was it? Guys. They were just so ugu that. I must know. have misremembered it as something acceptable. Hey. Holy hell, this frame rate. Hey! No, no yaoi shaming in this chat. You're right, sorry, I don't, I don't mean to be cis positive or... <laughs> don't be so slash negative. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, I'm just gonna, when this is over, go to sleep until I have to go to work tomorrow. Today. Right off the rest of the day. You mean today or do you mean actually tomorrow? I mean like literally morning. tomorrow. Eh, yeah, just get about four hours more sleep and power through the rest of the day. If by power through you mean walk around uh, lingering in survivor's guilt, then yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> just another old, just, just another born Sunday. I did it. I can't believe I did it, but I did. I'll never feel clean.
I'll never forget it. That happened. 25 hours of army men happened. And like 20 hours of folks for good measure. It, it's okay. Army men can't hurt you anymore. <laughs> God, I'm gonna go to like a toy store and start toy store and start having <laughs> nom flashbacks when I get to the, the army man. Right. You're just gonna go to your local Toys R Us and like burn down the store. <laughs> I'm just gonna Army men go home. I'm just gonna go buy a bucket of them and threaten to use your Panzer with them. I just wake up one day and just a bunch of army men. <laughs> yes, oh, oh man. Bring them to Pact with you. When's Panzer's birthday? I need to get her a gift. It's it's past, man. Well... Well... When's Bees' birthday? I need to give him a gift. Past also past. Damn it! When's Cassie's birthday? There's always next year. When's Cassie's Duck. birthday? I need to get her a gift. Long past. Damn it! When's Christmas? I need to get you guys a gift. Christmas is past as well. Damn it! Every time! The army man of Christmas past. See, Christmas is past. Oh, that was the level? That was the level. <laughs> what are these levels? When's Fuzzles' what, would birthday, you I need would to you get a present. Would you prefer they each be um, an hour long? I hate to tell you, you know, mine passed. Mine was in between bees and Panzer. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> When's my birthday? I need to get me a present. <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, I, I hate to tell you, you're dying before your next birthday. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> every time! Boiled at every turn! Psych! Psych, when's your birthday? <laughs> I need to get you a present! I don't know if you're saying it's way past to... Uh oh. Damn it! <laughs> I believe Zayer's birthday is coming up. Beast, when is your game coming out? I need to buy you a present! <laughs> I know that hasn't passed! That's 2014, sir. So... Damn it! Zader and Garbat are having a birthday soon. But they so weren't here. Eh, sure no. it, it wouldn't inflict as much pain as it would to anyone else. Surfle striking. Thank you. I've had uh, 24 hours of practice. <laughs> that and the fact that uh, <coughs> we're actually on a 3D plane now instead of trying to work in semi isometric. It's like, is that 3 out of 10 or 3 out of 5? I'm guessing 10. Yeah, 3 out of 10. IGN's always up in a 10 scale. I don't really follow uh, most gaming publications or websites because they're usually pretty bad. Oh, yeah. I also like that all of these uh, objects, especially, you know, uh, level geometry and stuff, when the floor clips out, you can see, like, a reflection or a projection of the same item under the world textures. Yeah, it's like everything has a shadow below the world. Yeah. It's all icebergs. You're only seeing the tip of the, uh, Just the gun. The yeah, that might actually be preferable at this point. <laughs> so, uh, these turrets, they're, um, they're kind of bullshit, huh? Yeah, oh, much. there you go. I know exactly when you get bees or whomever this is a present for. 
Veterans Day. Oh, Veterans Day. This, yeah, this makes you a veteran, right, Bees? Yeah. Something like that. There's that picture of you with the army helmet. Yeah. A veteran of the army men wars. If you just address it to Saj, it'll get to her. It needs to get to her. <laughs> yep. The address is Sarge in Seattle. I'm sure it'll get there. <laughs> no, it's Sarge and then just 3DO underneath. Caro Trip Hawkins. Yes. Oh man, I hold Trip Hawkins personally responsible for what happened tonight. What you mean the the part we raised like sixteen hundred dollars for children? No, no, that's the that's the thing that I place the blame on bees for. I mean, like the fact that I am thoroughly broken as a human being right now. Ah, uh, yeah, that is well, squarely on Trip Hawkins' shoulders. So, uh, next game is at 10 till, right? Yeah, 10 till. The final legitimate really Ami main game. Yeah. True. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the texture modders are doing, though, because even in 2006, these, like, uh, I, I don't know, is that like Playmobil toys? With, like, it's like somebody tried to sculpt a Playmobil toy out of Play Doh, is what those models look like. It's, you know, it's the crazy thing, because Playmobil is like um, off brand Lego, and those things are off brand Playmobil. Yeah, you may be right. Wow, Global Star Software has had two games that have gotten positive scores. It's good. Good for them. That's, that's some achievement. Achievement unlocked. Kohan 2 Kings of War, September 2004, and Vegas Tycoon. January 2004. I think I actually have Vegas Tycoon on Steam. And by positive score, you mean like five or six? Uh, no, I mean like uh, Metacritic overall. Oh. Yeah, so you mean like five or six. Vegas Tycoon has a 76. Yeah. Also known as Vegas to make it big, and yes, I do have a copy of that on Steam. What? And then Kohan to Kings of War, which has an 81 on Steam. Metacritic. So, TimeGate Studios even got their bonuses for getting over an 80 on Metacritic. Not bad. <laughs> they each got a free taco from Taco Bell. <laughs> they got a free item off the dollar menu. No, they got a coupon for a free taco if they make a dollar donation to charity. Yes. <laughs> Expires in a week. Meanwhile, their lowest Metacritic game is 26 for the PC version of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory from July 2005. The, the other versions what? of the game got 39, 36, and 35, respectively, but the PC version came in at a blistering 26 out of 100. But... And, and I do mean blistering, quite literally. But... Why did they make a game tie-in of that shitty movie? <laughs> the positive reviews. There's two of them in a row here from Kavin K. This game is excellent. Who said this game sucks? Man, this game is the best for knifing. Too bad it's not suitable for children, what with all the gore. Go Charlie, it's your birthday. We gon' party like it's your birthday. What? Yep. What? This is the effect that Global Star Games has on your, mar on your brain. <laughs> Should I be, like, concerned now for myself? <laughs> Yourself and everyone around you. Yeah, Army Men Major Malfunction, 36 out of 100. Oh, and their next game, Classified The Sentinel Crisis for Xbox, had a 41 on Metacritic, but a user review score of 1.0. Seems hot. When I play a budget price shooter, I expect a solid ex gaming experience regardless of the price. Especially if it's by a solid developer like Taurus Games, who previously developed Duke Nukem for the GBA. Oh, we can't switch games, we have 20 minutes left of this. I know. That's definitely why I have to go up there, right? 
the guy who reviewed Sentinel said, avoid this game and play Warpath instead. The, the level Warp design seems to indicate that yes, you are supposed to go that way. I don't know if anyone else remembers Warpath. Warpath was one of Digital Extreme's first games, and it has a Metacritic rating for the Xbox version of 53 out of 100, as opposed to 41. No, it's it's 20 minutes. Uh, we had to... Um, when bees tried to play Turf War, it was really bad, so we broke it half an hour and decided to add 10 minutes to the final three games. So our timing is a little off. Oh jeez, I like Old Man March's Sartammer 40k. You got 20 minutes to figure this puzzle out. Okay, I got this. This brain melting. I especially got this if someone can open game facts. Write it up, baby. Just, just what, what would possess you to write a walkthrough of a game like this anyway? Well, the same thing that would possess you to play in 25 hours, I guess. But, I mean, on the one hand, you know, if somebody gets this for you as, like, a gift and it's a well-meaning aunt or uncle or something, then you play it, but... I didn't mention this during the army men, but there are still, there's still like a group of about 50 or 100 people who are like mega army men RTS fans and like they're trying to hack the uh, executable, get the editor working and like building their own maps and stuff like Oh yeah, somebody mentioned that earlier, yeah, that there like were they, mods They're still active and there is no reason they should be active for a 12 year old army men game I uh, hate to disappoint you, but there's no codes and there's no fact for this game uh, <laughs> Yes! So are you planning on crushing their hopes and dreams, Bees? Nah. Because I think you really should. Maybe you can do one of those sick nasty kick flips onto the blocks on the side. You have the QTE on the truck to get it to drive out of the way. Or you could just bounce off of them, that's cool too. Yeah, bam, bam, that'll do. That'll do, Sarge. That'll do. <laughs> I could just watch that for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Holy heck. You get, you get good height on that. <sighs> this franchise <coughs> geometry is making me ill. Yeah, same. This franchise is making me ill. Well, yes, but that's a given. Okay. Not in the platform detection or anything much. <gasps> I like the idea that the fact that, it, you know, the Plastic Army Men gives some of the lazier developers, um, gives them license to not give the character spaces or other distinguishing features. Maybe you can shoot those tires on the truck? Ooh, looks like you almost got enough height to clear the thing. Ah, oh, wow. Yeah. That looks like it should be working. Yeah, I know it's not Sarge Tolo, but still. Okay, now we can shoot the fires in the truck. If, if Sarge were here, he would just pick the truck up and throw it out of the way. With his chin. Real line that you do. And Anderson's such a punk. Uh, 
Oh yeah, Silver Bendo's got it. You need a Pokemon with strength so you can push the truck and capture me. Or Rock Smash. You could just break it down the center. Or Cut, I guess. Uh, cut's just for plants. So. I thought Strength was just for the big stone blocks, though. That's a good hidden thing. Nice. What's the what's the skill that makes slower moves go first? Strange room or something like that? Trick room? I don't know. I don't really know pokes all that well. Gasp. Me either. I only played it for 20 hours today. Yesterday. Me either. At some point in the recent past. Oh uh, yeah, can you drive the truck? Do so you have any interaction with the truck? Innovatious in the chat says there's a bomb in the level somewhere. No, obviously no one can verify if that's true, but it would. I'm going to ignore the question of how he knows that and just assume that there must be a bomb somewhere. He is a Team 17 dev. I am too sleepy to anybody. judge Innovatious. There's a video walkthrough. So there wasn't the fact that they guess there was a YouTube video. Okay. Well, you have 13 minutes to tell me how to get through this on the video walker. That insinuates that I have to watch that, which means I have to watch two separate streams of this game at <laughs> once. I don't think I can take that. Maybe it's by the hamper. Okay, I'm gonna or the, the laundry basket. Yes, the bomb is in the laundry. It's a dirty bomb. <laughs> Yep, that's where oh. we are right now. My dad humor is actually making people laugh. <laughs> when you The turret yeah, guns they're... shoot them, and I guess they have bombs? Okay, well, Alright, sure. I guess I can accept that as a solution. No, the only solution is to not play this anymore. We don't have that option, unfortunately. Unfortunately. The only way to win is not to play. I like how um, the thought that these guns deal damage to you is more of a suggestion than anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. This is actually it's like, I, uh, you know, sometimes they shoot you and sometimes they don't shoot. You. I, I feel like this is the only Army Man game that's been played so far where we haven't died. Am yeah, I right about that? getting murdered. Yeah. Somebody actually decided to make one of these games too easy instead of too hard. Well, I don't know about easy. Well, easy in the sense that as long as you can figure the quote-unquote puzzles out. Ball-busting puzzles. Block-busting. Block-breaking? Now, to be fair, you probably would have gotten this game from Blockbuster, so block-busting is maybe appropriate. 
Ah, oh, thank God Blockbuster is dead. History's greatest monster. Ah, well, we'll always have Gamefly. Or at least until the next generation of consoles when they finally get rid of uh, used game reselling. Or just go digital only. I feel like it would take a major culture shift in Japan for Sony to do that. Or Nintendo. Nintendo especially. Nintendo would, would obviously be the last one to go that way. Microsoft, you know, sure, because their sales in Japan, they sold, what, like five Xboxes? I don't know. I mean, with the number of Dojin games on Xbox, you'd wonder. Well, you see, they sold five Xboxes, and then uh, to each of the five Xbox owners, they sold about $50,000 worth of Idol Master DLC. Yeah. Oh, you're talking 360. I thought you meant original Xbox. Uh, yeah, no, they sold a few thousand Xboxes, and then like... Eight copies each of every Idol Master game and all the DLC. Oh, you picked up a bomb. Okay, sure. That wasn't there before. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we didn't see this cutscene last time. I'm insinuating that this game might be poorly designed. That was like a. Uh, oh God, which uh, it was the the first Sleeping Dogs DLC when Giant Bomb did a quick look of it. The first time they went into. Um, they like loaded up the DLC and started the scenario. Uh, the scripting broke. Or maybe it was right after they finished the mission, the scripting broke. And so they were just walking around for like 20 minutes trying to figure out what was going on. And the chat, somehow everyone picked up the idea that all Vinny had to do was pick up a purse on the ground. <laughs> and bring it somewhere to make the scripting oh start God, again. Please, please don't die. Please pick up the purse. Pick up the purse. Congratulations, you successfully a truck. I ate a truck. I ate a truck. Hi, Panzer. Well, my level. condolences. Is so Jing jangled up. Why did you drink that energy drink? I drink. didn't even get that far in it. It just started making me feel like junk. I think too I'm too old for this shit, Panzer. The main problem was for lunch I had a jumbo bowl of salt ramen, and then for dinner Ooh. I had salty pizza and salt wings. <laughs> oh god. And I had no water to drink, so I just kind of like curled up in a nausea ball on the couch for the last two or three hours. Maybe you should get an activated charcoal tablet or something. I'm okay. I just drank a whole lot of water and then I parked a butt on my face, and then I took a shower, and now I feel okay. Yeah, I heard I heard about the dog butt anthology. You, see, you managed to cleanse the dog butt. You managed she, to put up it over that dog's butt. She just like... I was trying to get her to, to like, lay in a normal animal position, but she's too tired, so just she'll just start dead waiting wherever. So she just put her ass on my face and wouldn't move. Stop. <laughs> I think Tolvo is now shipping Sarge Senpai and Warhammer Sarge. <laughs> Saved. I like it. How how deep did things go while uh, well, pretty pretty well, sides we and deep. Out, yeah, we, we, were we out, went and we went full sword. Dollar donation from Innovatious on the condition that I uh, rewrite the opening monologue of Metal Gear Solid 4 to be about army men. And he did. And then voice acted. good. And I did. Yeah, what? We got a hundred dollar donation that just says Sarge a bunch of times? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, was when we, that was when we were full Sarge. All we went full Sarge. There was no turning back. Grassland said five bucks. Thank you, Grassland. It was about a half hour of us. <laughs> Sarge, 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 everything. Sarge. Yeah, so like... For Sarge of Four. I don't think we actually came up with that one before, but I like it, so. Bees, I think you can jump off that thing. You don't have to. What are I'm you doing? To, I'm trying to rotate the dish to. 
patent, and then I realized that there's no way I'm gonna be able to figure out the patent. Yeah, I've been watching the emulator freak the fuck out from the couch okay. for the last two hours. Again, oh, I expect yep. to believe that the game ships like this. Okay, time to switch over to the Legend final of legitimate game, Soldiers of Misfortune. The final official Army Men game. Are you excited, everyone? Of official, sure. 